How do I know if a steering spell is ADHD or an absence seizure? This is an excellent, excellent question that um, I think isn't asked enough, probably. Um, ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is a rather common uh, neurological uh, condition that uh, is diagnosed in the pediatrician's office, is diagnosed uh, in the schools, um, and is really um, a, a child not paying enough attention uh, and staying on task um, and in two or more different environments, so school and home, for example. Um, and uh, so we know it's not just environmental and behavioral uh, and may need treatment with uh, medications like uh, stimulant. But there could be children that are identified as uh, daydreaming and not paying attention uh, and uh, labeled as having attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or evaluated for that uh, first, when in fact uh, they may be having very short seizures. Uh, absence seizures um, mean just like it sounds absent. Um, this is a uh, type of generalized seizure that comes from both sides of the brain uh, at once. They're very short, so it can last about five, 10 seconds. There may be some associated eye fluttering uh, or maybe not. And usually the child will just stop what they're doing. Uh, like if they're eating some cereal or something, they might just stop for five seconds and then to carry on uh, with the spoon. Or if they're in class, they would uh, be looking at the teacher and look like they're paying attention, but would stop listening uh, for those five seconds, miss whatever instruction was given, like uh, if they're asked a question, for example, and just when they come to, uh, they would seem like they weren't paying attention or ignoring the teacher. Uh, so uh, could be labeled as having uh, ADHD. So uh, a doctor, pediatrician, or a neurologist might think about ordering an EEG uh, in the evaluation of ADHD if there is some uh, reports that sound like they could be uh, absence seizures. Uh, there, there have been studies done that uh, show that uh, a certain proportion of children uh, who uh, are evaluated for ADHD did in fact have absence seizures uh, or some other EEG abnormality. So um, often this is handled in the pediatrician's office, as I said, or a psychiatrist's office, um, and a neurologist might be more comfortable ordering EEG, but this is something that parents might want to ask, does my child need an EEG uh, to evaluate for other causes, especially if the treatment's not working for the ADHD.